Van Kevin here. Today is April the 14th and today I'm up here at Power Building Products up on Highway 78 and what they do they go into like hospitals and schools and whatever when they redo all their furniture and they buy all their furniture out. So I thought I'd come up here and look for some cabinets and maybe some uh, shelves or whatever to put inside the enclosed trailer. Let me show you so what I found. The enclosed trailer build is going pretty good. Uh, but I have a, my CPAP machine and I, my head sleeps down on this end. Uh, I took all my covers, I had the, the bed made it really nice. I took all my covers put on the floor because I found these corner shelves, solid oak, solid oak for $5 a piece. So I took all my bedding off because I wanted to set the bed up to see what they would look like. And I'll show you too, hang on. set like so and my CFAP was set up under it like this and I can still lift up my bed so those were five dollars a piece solid oak you never can uh, overlook salvage and I'll just paint it white or I may just leave it natural kind of changes the look like in here a little bit I believe I'll set the other one like so. Be a nice addition. It won't be in the way of my recliner or anything here. When I say solid oak, I mean the bottom piece is plywood covered in a laminated oak. But uh, it's a really nice find. So I went through all the, they have outdoor trailers and stuff here full of uh, building materials. All of those trailers are full of cabinets and chairs and whatnot and it works out good I'm gonna do a more in in-depth video of my uh, little refrigerator here how I got it mounted I went and got a uh, Dometic CF 18 now granted this is still rough here I'm not I'm not finished I had to put a strap here to keep it from coming out when uh, I was driving take a look here guys Should be able to put a week's worth of food in there. Just like so. But uh, now you see why I need the strap. But I'm going to perfect this. But what I thought I'd do is look for some cabinets or something that were already made, some, some shelving, so I could uh, get something and, and, and just repurpose it instead of using this. But I couldn't find anything that fit. And I've got to move this toilet because I don't want it under my fridge. So, I thought I'd have some, uh, sit right here and get out of this wind. <laughs> thought I'd have some fun with these, uh, with these dogs. That's too close up, but I know. We're too, we're, too, we're too close and personal here. But, uh, it's either that or wind noise. But you see that? Buffalo, Tucker, you're, you're bumping the camera, Hoss. You see that buffalo down there? I'm just curious how these dogs are going to react when they see it. Let's go down there. And I may uh, have to cut the audio out if it's too windy. Let's go see. You see that buffalo? You see it? You see that? Let's go see the buffalo. Baby May May. Let's go see the buffalo. Okay. They're having a grand time out here. Little Mausers. Look at that butt. They hadn't spotted it yet. Tucker spotted it. What is that, Tuck? Ooh. Woo! Go get it! Woo! What is that? Rawr. Rawr. Get it, boys! Get it! Rawr. Martini! What is this thing? Get it, Tucker! Get it, boy! <laughs> Get it, boy! Get it, boy! Get it, Tucker! Woo! Get it! What is it, Tucker? What is it, boy? Come here, Tucker. What's the thing? Uh, 
Gee. Uh, what's that thing? <laughs> Thank you for defending me, Tuck Tuck. So that's just a little update video. Let me get out of this wind. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.